Well, uh, good Wednesday night to you. Hope you've had a good week so far. Hope y'all had a great day Sunday worshiping and uh, Sunday school. And uh, I miss y'all. I am back. I got back late uh, Monday evening. And it's good to be back. And um, looking forward to Sunday where we come together again to have Sunday school and worship. I'm going to read from Psalms 95 tonight <clears throat> to give us an idea of how to enter in his presence. Psalms 95. And there's 11 verses, so we're going to read them all. Psalms 95 says, O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your heart as in the provocation, as, as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my work. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation and said, It is a people that do err in their heart. And they have not known my ways, unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. As I was thinking about what to share with you tonight, I, I wanted to share how to enter his presence. And he tells us there in Psalms 95 of how we're to enter into his presence. And when we think about entering into his presence, we enter into his presence at church, at our home, uh, anywhere really it's when we're coming together to worship and we don't have to be inside we can be outside of the church and entering into his presence because his presence he's all around us um, we don't confine him just to the church because if we did we wouldn't have the help and the strength and the the, the needs or, or, or being able to fulfill our needs and helping us uh, if we leave him at church so how to enter into his presence. First, he says, make a joyful noise. And you know, when we sing, that's what we're doing. We're making a joyful noise to the Lord. He tells us that twice in verse 1 and verse 2. Make a joyful noise. And that's why we should sing. Because our singing is lifting a joyful noise to the Lord. And he's pleased with it. Second, thanksgiving. We enter in his presence with not only joyful noise, but thanksgiving. In verse 2, it says, let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. You know, that's a form of worship, is, is being thankful to God and giving him thanks and being grateful uh, for what he does for us and for blessing us and taking care of us. And then last, he says, uh, verse 6, to be humble or humility. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. And that's how we should approach uh, the presence of, of God, especially with humility. He said he resists, in the Bible, he says he resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. And humility is what God wants. He wants us to come when we come to worship him. Come humility and humble, knowing that when we come to do our worship service, we're coming to meet God. That's what we're doing. When we come on Sunday morning at the 11 o'clock hour, we're coming to meet God. God is going to talk to us through our pastor and through his word is how he talks to us. And we come to meet him. And we meet him by joyful noise for thanksgiving and with humility. Love y'all. Let's pray. Father, we just come to you tonight. We thank you, Lord, for being able to share your word tonight with your people. And we also thank you, Lord, that we have the opportunity because Wednesday night is our prayer meeting night. The Lord, that we come tonight and bring uh, Brother Jay and Miss Susan and their family to you, Lord. We just pray for peace and comfort and strength that you'll continue to minister to them right now in the days ahead, ahead, Lord, and just let them know that, Lord, that you're with them through this time. For those that are needing a healing touch and on our prayer list, Lord, for sickness, Lord, we pray that you reach down and touch and heal, Lord, as it could be according to your will and your purpose, Lord, I pray. I ask you, Lord, to forgive us where we fail you so many times as we pray and ask these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.